Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for a brand new series. This is Collaborative Warfare, the series in which me and four other YouTubers slog it out turn by turn to take over all the territories in Kerbin. I did do a video on this, and many other people have. You can go and check out for the exact rules and things, but the premise is we've divided Kerbin up into five territories, and we're using Kerbal Foundries to add... Um, lots of launch facilities we can use, and the goal is to take everyone's launch facilities, and we can defend it using BD Armory and attack, well, d d attack the bases using planes and tanks and stuff with BD Armory. But the defenses will be using the AI, and that's what we're doing in our first turn, which is mainly the first video, because this did take a long time to record, because I had to put out basically, I think, 13 or 14 of these turrets. Um, I had to put out 14 flags, and I had to d do a space launch, because... Uh, to take over a base, you have to destroy everybody's... The, the, basically, you know, when you go to the base, you have to destroy all of the, the defenses, which are this kind of thing. Obviously, everyone will have built their own. Um, but then, once you've taken that out, you have to land your plane or stop your tank. I guess if you're man enough to use tanks, that'll be a long drive. Um, and then... And then you have to take down their flag and put up your own flag. So the first bit of this is me putting up turrets. I won't leave in all of these long bits. A lot of them didn't take this long to drive out. But um, yeah, this is just the first one. I thought I'd leave this all in to give me a little time to explain and to show you my first base. This is the old KSC. Um, it does look a little different from how it usually looks because Kerbal Foundries adds a bunch of cool stuff. Um, I'm using, not Kerbal Foundries, did I say Kerbal Foundries? I meant Kerb Inside. Kerbal Foundries is the mod that's added lots of wheels and things, such as the wheels I'm using here, which are really nice and stable. But basically, this turret is basically my base turret. It uses a giant 30mm cannon, which will take out anything. It can kill a fucking building. Um, I, no, I'm not joking, it can literally kill a building. If I still have the footage of when I killed a building with this, I'll put it on screen right now. Um, and then eight Amram missiles. Um, I will probably have some dedicated um, missile pods that'll look more like missile pods and they won't have guns on them, but for now I just want a really sturdy defense and that's what these are, without going crazy, because obviously I could build something ridiculous with like a trillion missiles and a trillion guns, but I thought that would be a little unfair. We are trying to go for something not too crazy, because obviously it would be quite easy just to, you know, everything just gets taken out by an ICBM. But yeah, this is the first one down. Um, now I've got to turn guard mode on, which uh, is done using this BD Armory tab. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking so long. This is uh, post-commentary, of course. But yeah, basically, um, it looks pretty stable, actually. I thought it wouldn't be, but uh, yeah, it is made a little... The wheels were put on kind of last minute when I realized I'd have to move it away from the launch site. But yeah, that is all uh, set up to shoot anything that tries to take our B. Our next launch site is the KKVLA, which is just... Um, well, just a helipad out in the desert, because uh, my corporation, by the way, is called the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente, or TAPE for short. I know, I'm so smart. Um, and we have a couple, most of, I think only a couple of bases in the Arctic, but we also spread down the, um, spread the, down the continent into the desert on the continent, continent adjacent to the continent with the KSE on. I don't actually own the KSE, but goddamn, am I going to take it. But yeah, we're just going to put this next to the uh, helipad right there. That'll stop anything. Oh no, there is a runway here too. I was wrong. It's not just a, not just a launch, uh, helicopter pad. It also has a runway, so it'll be a very tactical position. It is quite near the KSE as well, um, relatively close, so I could fly over there and take some stuff. Uh, next is the dead Kerbal Pit. Very, very ominous, but this is just, I think, a helipad. Um, not much going on, just a uh, desert outpost helipad. This is actually, again, very close to the KSE, very tactical. The next one is Jebediah Sands. Um, very appropriate, since Jeb is the uh, most victorious of Kerbals. Um, we're kind of rolling over here. Uh, what other mods are we using? I'll probably just list them at some point. We, I know we're using Improved Chase Cam, Kerbal Foundry, Speedy Armory, um, Kerb Inside, and... Oh, I know most people are using environmental visual enhancements, but uh, mine isn't working properly yet. But I will put it I'll put it on there at some point when I figure everything out. Um, what else? I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, uh, cutting ahead, because uh, this was a bit of a long drive down that ramp. I just thought I'd leave that in, because some of these uh, launch sites are quite nice. But yeah, that is there, and uh, now we're ready to move on to um, Lake Dermal. It's near our lake, of course. It's just a little runway out uh, out in the green, green grass. One of the greener parts of our of our great nation, and we'll uh, put our put our little um, turret down right now. Uh, the next one is Hearthland Peak, one of my favorite bases. This is on top of a mountain. It's a helicopter pad, of course. We don't really have um, space for much else. And you, might, you may be thinking, you have a lot of helicopter pads. 
How are you? you don't have helicopters, I'm sure. Yeah, but I do have a really great VTOL I can use. It's amazing. Um, not to toot my own horn, it's maybe the best plane in the world. No, it's not that great, but it's a very effective VTOL. Um, it was in the trailer for this that you should still go and check out. But yeah, this is just another remote outpost, very tactical, on top of a mountain. Um, if people didn't bring VTOLs, they're going to probably need them to land here, I uh I'll say that much. Doing a bombing run may be difficult, I think. This could be a very tactical position. Um, they're going to have to fly down Beggar's Canyon and they're going to have to... Oh, that's going to be awesome. Uh, no one will take me on. I will win this. I uh, Yeah, this is uh, this is my uh, this is the second turn, actually. This is my first turn, but the second turn in total. Uh, the first one was taken by Beardy Penguin, who you should definitely go check out. Uh, you should check out all the other people if you really want to stay you know, up to date with this. Uh, anyway, the next thing we've got is Jed Top Isle, which is... Uh, just another little uh, helipad. It does have a boat type place, um, which could be quite useful actually. I imagine it would be quite easy to get boats down uh, down there. Um, I do have a helicraft helicraft carrier, no uh, aircraft carrier built. Again, good for VTOLs. Um, so yeah, I do have a lot of hardware ready and uh, ready and waiting to wreak havoc and let slip the dogs of war because all of that stuff. It's going to be. It's gonna be awesome. This uh, this first video is gonna be less awesome than the rest of them. It's a little mundane, but this is setting everything up. I mean, that's gotta happen because, uh, well, we're gonna attack. We're gonna be doing some attack runs pretty soon, I guess, uh, depending on how tactical you are. And this, what is this? This is um, Dundud's Edge, another remote helipad. I've got a lot of remote helipads, so the VTOL fighter will be very important. Although I imagine with all this f uh, free space, I could probably take a normal aircraft off from here, or maybe land one that was short of range or something. Bring down a wounded bomber after an engagement, although if I, uh, well, it might be wounded and run out of ammo, I guess. I could fly it back. Yeah, I'm, it, these probably will uh, take quite a long time to record because there'll be a lot of intercontinental flight, but don't worry, they will uh, be all nicely cut and things like this one is. Um, this one's a little hard because this is just a helipad and I can't really drive down the steps, so um, I'm just going to park this on the stairs because that's technically off the helipad, so uh, I can still launch things, but yeah, this is just going to go here. Um, kind of precariously. I don't know how I'm going to put more than one pod here, but um, this is my uh, this is my defense. Just uh, just in the stairwell, you know. Just leave my missile, my mi my my missile launch launcher and my uh, giant 30 millimeter turret there, and it'll be fine. I think each of these uh, turrets has about 4,800 rounds, which should uh, keep most things at bay. The next one is. Uh, that last one, by the way, was Edis side. The next one is Dull Spot. It does look quite dull. Um, and it is dark. This is one of my uh, darker locations. It's, uh, well, looks it looks pretty nice, actually. Um, well, not nice, but it looks like it could be fairly useful. It's a runway for once, and uh, we'll want to defend this. We want to defend all of them as much as we can. Um, I want to get some small islands, actually. There are a few which I'd very much like to steal away from my enemies. Um, okay, what do we got up next? Oh, this is a good one. This is a uh, Werberry's claim. Just a random runway out in the. I zoomed out, but there's nothing here. It's just an airstrip. Um, this could be very tactical, though. Uh, probably wouldn't show up too easily. Good place to launch planes from. Um, very defensible since it's just a runway. Uh, <laughs> not well, and there's mountains there as well. I could just put up a long-range ICBM launcher or something. I think this could be uh, could be quite nice. Just as, as many runways as pro um, possible, so I can launch bombers and squadrons of fighters along with them. We have some very cool plans for this, so do stick around. Even if this uh, first one seems a bit a bit mundane, I mean, I had fun um, uh, doing this actually. It was, uh, it was a little annoying because KSP kept crashing because apparently the uh, full release is less stable than the beta, but that's fine. Um, yeah, but still, it is. Uh, it's, well, I actually did enjoy these this driving as well. These Kerbal Foundry wheels are very nice. It'll be nice um, to, to well, you know, to be uh, fighting these. Well, I won't be fighting these. These will be fighting for me. That's why they have giant guns. Um, this is our North Pole Biodome. You can see the Biodome over there. And it is in the North Pole, our first, uh, well, our first Arctic base. We have two of them. One of them is actually a launch facility for uh, rockets as well. So that could be very useful. We have two rocket pads. Um, very useful since we need... Um, well, some satellites, which I'll explain in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is our first polar one, uh, which is, in, well, important because we are the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente. You may be wondering, Peter, what does Entente mean? Entente is, um, well, I don't really know what it means, <laughs> per se. But in World War One, um, England, France, and 
The other one were in a triple entente versus the triple alliance, which was Germany and some other countries. I'm no historian. I'm sure you can tell me that in the comments, and I'll be very interested to know. I like to know things, so do tell me what the other country in the Entente was. But basically, it's just like an alliance. Not that there's an alliance going on, although we can have alliances. So, um, I'm not going to give out alliances. I'm going to let people uh, show me their skills uh, first. <laughs> anyway, our second one is Zebedee's Polar Launch Facility, um, which is just a little old rocket pad um, in the... Uh, in the in the poles it's uh in the dark right now and it does look quite defensible actually as you can see there's a big cliff there so it'll well actually that might make it less defensible less long range missile capabilities but it is in a bit of a bit of a um a valley sort of thing i uh, very much like this uh launch facility could be very useful hard to get to very far away from anything and the south pole by the way is owned by the uh by the beardy penguin our perfidious enemy, uh, who is running this whole thing, so you should definitely, as per usual, as I keep saying, go and check him out. Check all of them out, there's um, various people uh, who will be linked in the description of at least this video and the trailer. Okay, now onto the flags. Um, we've got uh, we've got Jeb in his little car here. He's got to get out and throw down the custom flag that I made. Um, yeah, I think, I'm not sure how many people have taken turns at this point, but they'll all be doing the same thing, so they'll all be attacking in the first term. Uh, first turn, uh, but uh, we'll be, uh, you know, doing uh, that in future episodes. Anyway, that is my flag, the Territorial Arctic Protection Entente, represented by a polar bear. Now, I'm not going to bore you with the same sort of um, detail. I, I spent longer putting out the turrets just to show you each of the launch facilities, so you kind of get accustomed with my nation. Um, but, well, the flags took pretty much as long, so um, I'm pretty much... Just gonna. Sh well, I want to show you this bit actually. Uh, this next bit was took a while. This was back at KV KKVLA. Um, there's a lot of stairs to get to the ground, and I didn't really want to make everyone else walk up the stairs, or they'll hate me, hate me more. So I fucking helped them by walking down. But it did take a while. So uh, even when I was near the end, I just jumped over because that's now a feature. Um, he tried to kill. I mean, get to the ground uh, <laughs> quicker because um, it was so boring. He wanted just to end it all. Uh, walking down those steps um, did take a while. But yeah, and um, then we'll just throw down our fantastic flag, and then the rest did take a little while. So I think it might be high time for a flag montage. Yeah! And they all have to say tape. Um, so yeah, this is um, Dead Kerbal Pit. Jebediah Sands um, putting down our flag, writing tape on it again. Um, this is, I believe, Lake Dermal. <laughs> we had a little accident there with the car. Um... Hearthland Peak again, very nice. I do love this just because it's snowy and it's a freaking mountain. Um, and yeah, it's really nice. Uh, Jed Top Isle, a bit more greenery for Jeb. Our flag pops out again. Uh, and then I kind of lose track because I did them in different uh, different orders. I've completely forgotten because I kind of did them in different orders. But yeah, we're in the poles again. I guess this is the Zebedee launch facility. Um, yeah, that's uh, throwing down our flag again. Yeah, I made sure this was quicker because the last bit was took a little while. But yeah, I do like how the flags look. I do like how my flag looks, actually. That polar bears are rather beautiful. Putting out all these freaking flags is going to be freaking grand because uh, I'm making claim to everything. Um, to everything, including everyone else's. I've already put flags down. No, I haven't. That would be cheating to go and steal them before they've even had a turn. But smart. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm, you know, just planning a blitzkrieg. Uh, <laughs> Obviously a Blitzkrieg. Anyway, now all of that is done, we're going to do our launch of our spy satellite. This is from the old KSC. Um, this is our first uh, first satellite. It's a spy satellite. This allows me to use the tracking station to see what my enemies are doing, which is very important. You can either put up spy satellites or comm satellites. Comm satellites allow us to talk to each other. So, well, basically you Skype to talk about alliances and things, um, which maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll take a look at. But uh, for now, I'd rather know what my enemies are doing rather than trying to make friends with them because I'm a bad person. Um, but anyway, let's uh, fly on into orbit now and... Uh, well, well, in four times time accelerate, just to shave a little time off the video and uh, fly all the way to orbit. This wasn't a particularly powerful uh, rocket, so uh, I had to cruise up fairly gently. But uh, it was quite nice, and I do like launching from here with all those mountains. It, ma it makes a really nice change launching from somewhere that isn't um, the KSC, actually. Although this is the old KSC. You can see how many probes there are. There's, I think I have 14 probes on the ground, um, and then 14 flags. And I think uh, Beardy Penguin has... Um, uh, this uh, 15 maybe or maybe the same amount. I'm not sure. I've forgotten who the next move is. I think it's maybe Twitchy uh, or yeah, I think that's uh, the guy. Anyway, <laughs> you'll see. Or you can go and look at their channels and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that's just um, 
put ourselves into in, onto orbit, and now we've got our spy satellite. We can spy on enemy movement, um, which is very nice because we want to know what's going on. I think we can see the Beardy Penguin's uh, comm satellite there. He's clearly taking a far more uh, far more peaceful route to victory, far more diplomatic. I, however, will be blitzkrieging and victorying. You can see my awesome looking spy satellite. I do like how this looks with all those big old battery bank. Um, I almost put a missile on here, just in case someone tried to take me out. Oh, we're flying over the real KSC now, didn't notice that. Um, nothing on there right now, because the guy hasn't put his stuff down. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I think he's going last with the KSC, because he's... I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure the order of the YouTube people. But of course, I will link their channel so you can go and watch all the moves you wish to. Um, and, you know, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you will join me for next episode, when we maybe... Launching, I don't know, maybe some patrols, some checking out some enemy bases, seeing what they got going on. But yeah, I will see you next time.